Gentleman reserves. Gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. Well, Mr. Speaker, let's go back to who caused this problem in the first place. It was those Republicans, where the Republican tax cut, the Trump tax cut, is the one that caused this problem. And so let's not forget why we are facing this. Let's not forget, and hopefully New Yorkers won't forget, as to why they are facing this problem in the first place. But with that, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to yield three minutes to uh, my esteemed colleague, the gentleman from Colorado, Mr. Crow. Gentlewoman reserves, gentlemen recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to implore House Republicans to bring the bipartisan national security supplemental to the floor for a vote. All we want is a vote. I just returned from Ukraine with a bipartisan group where we met with the Ukrainians and we can tell you that these folks are fighting and dying not just for their own freedom and their own democracy, but for freedom and democracy around the globe because Vladimir Putin and Russia will not stop at Ukraine. They will continue marching if they are not stopped here. But this National Security Supplemental Bill, this is not, this is not charity. We're not doing this simply out of the goodness of our hearts. This is in the best interests of Americans and American national security. Let's break this down. By providing this support, we will be able to stop Russia from its march any place else in Europe. We'll be able to protect the 100,000 servicemen and women, Americans and their families who live in Europe and work with our allies who would be at great risk if Putin is not stopped here. We also protect our largest trading partner in Europe and our largest security partner. Our economy, our businesses rely on a stable and prosperous Europe. And we would also be protecting the world's food supply and food prices, keeping food prices lower and making sure that food supplies are not interrupted. That's all the things that this bill will do. But let's also talk about how this bill is structured and how it provides that support. It provides that support by spending over half of the money right here in the United States to U.S. businesses and U.S. workers from places like Texas and North Carolina and Pennsylvania and Colorado all throughout this nation who will be building the equipment and, and supplies that we'll be sending to our military. Because that's another important part of this. Our military sends our old equipment to Ukraine. And Ukraine uses it with great effect on the battlefield. Then the new stuff is kept by our military. So let's break this down. We're supporting our economy. We're protecting our 100,000 troops. We're ensuring a stable and prosperous Europe. We're defeating the Russian military. We're ensuring food supplies. We're updating our own military stocks. We're infusing money in the U.S. defense industrial base into our own workers and businesses. And we're doing all of this for less than 5% of our annual defense budget. That is a great deal for the American taxpayer. It's a great deal for the American people. And we would be uh, remiss if we didn't act now and take this up. There are moments in history that will judge people and determine the course of the world. We are at one of those moments now. I implore you, bring this for a vote so we can ensure a stable and prosperous world and make sure it's one that our children and grandchildren want to grow up in. Thank you, and I yield back. 